I interrupt your regularly scheduled me with an emergency report by me. Controllers made by other companies, not the console manufacturers themselves, are running rampant. And most are up to no good. This is the third party controller watch list. Our mission statement is to bring more awareness to sh here we have the TAC-50 joystick for your local Sega Genesis system. It falls in line with the rest of the, I guess if that's what you want sort of thing, controllers. It's not bad, but it doesn't necessarily work well with the vast majority of the Sega Genesis library. It does have these suction cups on its base, which makes it harder to move around on a coffee table, and it also looks pretty good on a windshield. Was the GameCube C stick not small enough for you? Well, do I have a bad controller for you? Introducing the GameStop branded wireless GameCube controller. Too small and uncomfortable for any of you with hands out there. The analog stick keeps with the tried and true tradition of hard plastic to make sure you hate it even more and the buttons reek of loud plastic cheap. Also, it's been reported that if you do touch a controller like this, you will most definitely contract bed bugs, damn it. Now I don't own this thing anymore due to unforeseen circumstances. If I could sue a game controller, I would first go after whatever the hell this third-party Wii U controller is, and then sue the Wii Remote for deception. But I do remember everything about it and how it was the definition of everything a falsely advertised product was. This controller was trying to scam people into thinking it was a Wii U Pro controller. However, it turns out it was fundamentally just a Wii Remote and Wii Classic controller all in one. Now the idea of having a standard controller with the capabilities of a Wii Remote and Classic controller all in one is great. The problem was this controller was terrible at everything it did. The build quality was cheapo, the buttons felt like mashed potatoes. The only reason why anybody gave this controller any attention was the fact that there was a Super Nintendo and Super Famicom color scheme available. 